In this video, I'll show you how to make a stylized shield using Blender for modeling, sculpting, and UV mapping, and later taking it to Substance Painter for texturing. Along the way, I will be showing how to make the low poly model as well as the high poly, bake maps in Substance Painter, and bring it all together into Blender with a simple lighting setup. Alright, let's get to it! The first step was to import a reference image of a shield. In this case, I was using a very simple shield reference that I used to get the main shapes. For the main shape, I used a cube and added some edge loops to help shape it a little bit better. To get the angular shape of the shield, I selected the center vertices and moved them forward while having the falloff amount enabled. I duplicated the main shape and used that to get the metallic frame of the shield by deleting the inner geometry and later giving it thickness. I also used the same shield shape to get the center parts of the model which in this case needed to be somewhat straight in the center. This same geo will later be used to make the high poly wood planks as well. The last thing I did for the model was to add some of the smaller details and place them where they needed to be. To make the high poly model, I duplicated the center parts and used that as the wood planks. I deleted unnecessary geos so that it would fit appropriately. I also applied a bevel and subdivision modifier to make it more high poly. I named all the pieces with the underscore high and duplicated the whole collection. The duplicate collection will be used as the low poly later on. I took the high poly versions of the model into sculpting mode and began by using the remesh to increase the geometry count on all pieces. I used mainly the general brushes that come with Blender to give a few dents here and there for the metallic parts. I also used some of my custom brushes to add a few details to it as well. If you're interested in these brushes, there is a link in the video description. I did a pass on all the metallic parts before moving on to the wood planks. After doing the pass on the metallic parts, I started to add detailed fibers on the wood planks to give it that stylized wood look. Something I recommend when sculpting wood is to make sure that you don't have too many straight lines and give the fibers some variation by having them go across the plank. After the sculpting was done, I moved on to the low poly model and created the UVs for it. One thing I like to do is while I select the edges where I want to cut the UVs, I also set those edges to be marked as sharp or at least the ones that are near a 90 degree angle change in the geometry. Marking the correct edges as sharp makes it easier to have the right normals before exporting for baking. I exported the low and high poly models and baked all the maps in Substance Painter. For the texture, I used my 3DX stylized Smart Material 3.0, which is a custom material that I have been using for pretty much all my stylized models lately. There is a link to it in the video description if you want to try it out on your models as well. I exported all the textures and in Blender I assigned a new material and those textures to it. I added a few lights to make the model look more interesting as well. This is what the shield ended up looking like. If you want to see the full video on Interrupted, please check the links in the pinned comment or the video description. All videos are posted without interruptions through my Patreon and website. If you like this video, feel free to check out some of my other videos in the channel and if you have any future suggestions for videos, feel free to do that in the comment section. Thank you all and I hope to see you in a future video.